say in the schoolyard. Run it back. That's pickup basketball. These guys have uniforms, and we are going to pick up the pace. The horse corral is the space. The home team Stangs are in first place, defending their undefeated league record against their aviary opposition, Dem Birds, from Lowell High School, flying in from over about round Stonestown. So now you know, let's go. The highlight reel with the real San Francisco. Lincoln goes for the steal, and when they come up empty, it's Sean Daly straight racking it for the Cardinals' first bucket of the day. And on that, Lincoln calls a timeout. I'm not sure if it's the guy who went for the steal or a kid who didn't rotate over, but I'm pretty sure somebody's getting yelled at. Cortavius Taylor responds, and he drops the three ball. That's a nice... He had a double-double plus cheese on the night. 11 points, 10 rebounds, 3 blocked shots. He had a lot of assists too, I just don't know how many. My statistician took the night off, but Nikita Karsev did not. He was flying around all over the place. Pay attention, you'll see this time the rebound. Kick out, Cortavius with the corner kick assist. And it's Justin Aquino with the three-point. Bingo, put that in your stove pipe hat. We see you, Hand. Quit trying to steal some camera time. More video evidence from the courtroom in case you think I'm making stuff up on account of free speech and everything. Good news, Cortavius blocks the shot. Bad news, Sean Daly squeegee with the reverse English follow. Or was that bad news good news, depending on who you're rooting for? Same dilemma here. No, no, no. Turns into a yes, yes, yes. One for each point. There's a reason. Troy Smith wears three on his back. And front, too, if you want to get me on a technicality. But it was just too much Cortavius dominating the game and the highlights early. Ball skills, finish skills. But don't worry, if you got game, I'm gonna say your name. And now I got two guys with three names, or one name, the twins. Jeremiah finds his brother, Justin Aquino, who makes the strings dance. And it dances to the tune of a four point play. As he's fouled in the process, Justin would go on to sink the free throw. For the Curry count up, I know you know it. One, two, three, four point trip down the court. And this is a sweet pass from Cortavius. I don't know what it's called. Somebody give me a name for it. In stride to Jeremiah, who's just a blur down the court and into your living room. Lowell counters with Troy Smith. He manages to turn the corner and get all the way to the glass for two, but they still would be down a hefty margin as we slide into quarter numero quattro. Alex Hedger, shimmy shimmy Coco Pop. That gets him by the defender for the hoop and the harm. The Cardinals just couldn't put it all together and make a strong run on this night. Probably because of the overall talent of this Lincoln squad. It can come from anyone, anywhere, anytime. Quentin Kennedy clocking from beyond the line. Then Kennedy crosses over to the other side, making the reverse scoop. Della Hoop look easy. And we're going to wrap this thing up with a little loco stank. Aquino, comma, Jeremiah, vibration. One step, defender back, upright, defender closes, but it's too late. His fate is sealed. And this is why I always say, respect goes to the players, and I mean it. Every time they go out there, they put it on the line, they take a chance. I would rather play my heart out and lose than be a spectator. Even worse, a spectator with a camera and something stupid to say, which is ironic, because that's what I am. But that's okay, because I'm 57, and in my day, oh yeah, it's that time again. In my day, I may or may not have been the best player out there, 
But I guarantee you this, you would want me on your team. Because I did not care about a single thing except winning. And when I was in the middle of it, in that instant, in that moment, I would rather die than let my friends down. Stupid, right? I know, but that's how I felt. And it got me to the top of the food chain. The kid guarding Jeremiah is a freshman, a ninth grader, going up against some of the baddest cats in this town. And the kid is quick too. After all, his name is Jet, Jet Tran. And let me guarantee you one more thing. He will be a baller in this league. So yeah, that's how it goes. You get schooled, so what? Sometimes in this world you have to pay to get an education. But you keep that moment inside of you until it burns and inspires you. Okay, okay. All right, all right already. Let's do this freeze frame. Put the graphic up. Raise that bed of music. And then go talk to the twins. Do you have fun out there? And like, why do you play? Of course, uh, I always have fun. This is something I love to do. Uh, I started playing when I was four, so every time I get out there, I just cherish it. Tell me, I saw you got fouled out there a couple times, and uh, you were looking for that whistle. Yeah. How, do, how do you approach that? Uh, coach, well, coach told me I don't get no calls, so I don't expect none, so coach just told me how to fight through it. Where do you want your team to be at the end of this year? Man, stay champs. How many parts of your body are hurting right now? Man, my upper and lower body a lot. I got, I took a hit, so my hip. I'm gonna feel it later. My joint running right now, so I can't really tell you. But after the game, I'm probably gonna be really sore. Tell me how you would describe your game. To be honest, I would describe my game as uh, just really trying to involve my teammates first. You know, just being a good team player, but also I can, I know when it's time to take over. So just being that two-way player on defense and offense, just doing what I can to help my team. Play. How did you develop that? Too. Were you always like that? I imagine it when you were in elementary school, you were like, I'm scoring all the time. Of course, I came a long way, still working. There's always still progress I can still work on, but I'm trying to build my character the best I can be just for my teammates and everybody. 